Hey everybody, Jeff with Two Brain Business. Uh, we're going to talk about roles and tasks and where you should identify yourself and your business. Also, are we working on our business or in it? So, what I want you to do is stop cleaning. If you own a gym and you are still the main cleaner or you're still spending more than 10 minutes a day cleaning, something's backwards and we need to work on that. Here's why. A CEO should be valuing their time at 40 or more dollars per hour, ideally much more, uh, because of the fact that if you can spend time working on your business, you can generate easily more than $40 in an hour, and I would hope most of you can agree with that. This applies to cleaning, coaching, uh, contacting members, billing, etc. The roles go on and on and on. They're all going to be valued below that 40 plus an hour. Maybe cleaner 10 to 15 an hour, coaching maybe 15 to 25, et cetera. So you are just a 40 plus an hour employee doing a 10 to $15 an hour job. And that is not conducive to your business because you should be spending that time on growing your business. The only way you can do that is if you're working on it, not in it. So remember all the roles below that CEO level, even from GM on down, those are all stuck working in your business. It's very hard to grow your business when you are washing toilets, right? Yes, a clean gym is important though. So ideally what you're gonna do is hire out, delegate out, um, hire a virtual assistant for some of these roles. Obviously they can't clean the toilet for you, but I'm sure there's a member or a member's teenage kid that would be happy to make 10 bucks an hour, two to three hours a week to keep your gym clean, disinfected, looking good. And they're gonna save you that two to three hours or more because you're probably a perfectionist about it because it's your gym. Uh, and you can then reuse that time for something much more important, a higher level role as we would call it, or a way that you can actually generate revenue for your business or grow your brand, okay? Same thing goes for coaches, right? We'll talk in a later video about looking for coaches. We've been talking a lot about hiring recently with Two Brain. So look into those podcasts and et cetera that we put out there. Um, but ideally you're not coaching 20, 30 hours a week, you're gonna have other coaches be doing that for you. Think about what you could do with that time, and we'll see you guys later.